Oh, we're already starting? All right, so, oh man, we didn't change these names, did we? We didn't change a dang thing. Or not Gus, we have uh, it's new. BT Mac and... BT Mac and Vorst. RC Vorst, if you... Oh, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. I should do that since he's in my career after all, right? And this is... Oh, yep, thank you. I mean, we'll call that a prediction. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it clean for now. All right, okay, great. So we got BT Mac on Greninja here and Vorst on Fox. Now, BT Mac specifically afraid of Fox. <laughs> oh, really? I did not know that. Against, uh, well, Vorce is Fox, at least. But perhaps Fox in general. Uh, Vorce is actually a really technical player. Uh, I actually am afraid of playing, too. He, um, his neutral game, he needs to work on his neutral game a little bit, but he's, he's super technical. Like, see with those dash dances? Most people don't do that on this game. Yeah, he's got a lot of dash dances, a lot of... Uh, Perfect pivots. Pivot, pivot smashes, pivot yeah. tilts. Oh, yeah, yeah, his pivot, up, his pivot up tilt's great. Oh, the air dodge read. Oh, but we're living, though. Sometimes they'll just do stuff. Oh, okay, yep. Good edge guard. Oh, my gosh. That's super unfortunate. I was curious if you would try to go for a downer spike on that one, but I guess he didn't need it. I think that was just a flub on Vorst's part, waiting so long to do the up. Oh, yep, see. Come right back. He's super good with those. Uh, I think he prefers the weak hit Nair into up smash. But uh, he's also very proficient with the down air as well, clearly. There we go. Oh, Fox thanks. Oh, wow, that was super good. So I'm really surprised we haven't seen him do a throw into a forward, dropping forward air. It's like one of his favorite things to do. Oh, there we go, Trump. Oh, that's true. It may not be useful. Uh, he may be able to shadow sneak out of it or counter out of it. I don't know. True. And then when Fox, and then Fox below stage is very gimpable himself. That's true. That's a good spot dodge. And that's certainly something that BT Vec can have to watch out for. Down air on stage, Fox will, he can do just about anything because he's so fast. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it confirms into pretty much anything he wants it to. I mean the uh, Greninja doing down air on stage. Oh, so oh, oh. It had a, a strange hitbox, but if it hits on stage, it has a lot of lag, and Fox can just run in there from probably from across screen and mm -hmm. do multiple options. That's how uh, I have to beat BT Mac, actually, is wait for him to <laughs> down air, then miss, and then punish. Oh, yep, just like that. I probably should have been up smash. Yeah. Ooh. Greninja's low hitbox. Yeah. It's Becker can't quite connect the... He, he just gets so small when he does it. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh that should have been up smash. Yep. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Everything should be up smash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Starting off with a throw. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised he was able to shield out of that. Greninja has, fast, has a very fast fall. Surprisingly. I'm not sure what his weight class is, but I know uh, Luigi, for instance, sometimes I can't do... For fastballers, I'll usually do a down throw to up smash. Yeah. Like 0%, and sometimes Grenadier will just block it. Hmm. <laughs> I've just seen some Fox things. I don't think that dash attack to uh, up air works very well. Or at least he, he keeps trying to do it anyway, but it's not doesn't seem to be working out. Yeah, for Fox. Ahead. That's true. That's true. Oh, he the Trump in the back air. The double jump. That's actually the first time BT Mac has uh, double jumped in that situation. Yes. So that was a very good read. Poor, poor. No one's been talking to JK Sells. Poor guy. JK Sells. Uh, it sells. Oh, it's just sells. Yeah. It is a Z. He's just weird. Oh, JKZ sells whatever. I th I'm pretty sure that's the bracket. Should be close enough. City can't hear the other person. I can't hear the other person. 
Here, talk real quick. I uh, will talk real quick. Hmm. That's weird. They can hear me, but they can't hear you. Huh? Apparently, they can hear me, but can't hear you. Say stuff. Saying stuff. I'm gonna figure out if the second headset has been having trouble. While BT Mac does. Okay, say stuff again. Okay, we're trying to find out what's happening with the microphone right now. Nope. Hmm. I do not know, I man. I can hear him through your mic, he says. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll have to flip this around. We'll talk uh, to my mic since yeah, it's not wrong. Strange. Ugh. All right. Does this have like a mute? I don't, not to my knowledge. I don't know what's going on. I have to figure it out. I'm still learning this mixer. But anyway, so BT Mac played um, Bayonet against me. And I don't know where he, how long he's been playing, but yeah, today. He actually beat me round one, and it was super scary. I Thankfully, huh, you know what, he's a big proponent of three socks. He, he, we were down, I was down two socks, or one sock or three. Uh, he got two socks on me really fast, and then I Absolutely. was able to learn the matchup. Um, and I almost came back with it. He ended up only having one sock and like 60 damage or something. And then he switched to Greninja, and I beat him, and he switched back, and then I was able to take him in round three. So that extra time to learn was really beneficial, and I'm glad I had it. Yeah, I believe when uh, I went against him Sunday, um, I think first game, we actually, the three-stock uh, came out for me. Yeah. Well, I did 2-0 him, but I can't exactly remember what happened. I think he, like, I think he got a spike on me, and then, like, a witch tie. And I somehow managed to come back. Oh, he played Bayonetta on Sunday? Yeah. Against me. I didn't play him on Sunday, so. That was good, all right. Oh, we didn't update the score. Uh oh. Oh, man. Bob is really quiet. <laughs> oh, sorry, Otanda. I don't know, man. Levels are all the way up. The uh, microphone on the things all the way up. He's maximized all the levels. So, see, that's one of the things, though, I think BT Mac really needs to work on is he, he just keeps relying on the side B. Yes. And I was just shielding it and then running up and grabbing him. And he would just try to witch time, but he didn't really seem to, uh, to adapt from that. Oh, no, that was bad. Oh, he's good, though. I forgot Fox has a super good recovery. It's very a, uh, a very long recovery, long range. I feel like BT Mac could have done a down air to snuff it out. Probably. Uh, I don't know. We couldn't we couldn't see what he did though. He could have done it. Not entirely sure. Although, well, he only had one stock, so that would be super dangerous to go that way. A little dangerous. 